we owe our existence to the sun. But on the other hand, we have also to be a little bit careful because a star is, is pretty active, it's pretty explosive, it can be very violent as well. A solar storm kind of starts with uh, what we call a solar eruption, right? So uh, there can be multiple parts of that eruption. What happened during the last few days, there is um, a system of very complex sunspots that came together and formed a huge active region of the sun. And these are extremely active in the span of a day or a day and a half. They launched, uh, I believe, something like seven coronal mass ejections. This is sort of a huge explosion that can be associated with the flare, but basically what happens is part of the sun actually lifts off the surface, right? So this plasma, the charged particles, the magnetic field that makes up the sun, part of it actually lifts off the sun and streams away into space. In this case, we've got multiple, five at this point, CMEs that are all coming earthward at the same time. And that's pretty unique and special about what's happened over the last few days. So we might ex expect power outage in some places. Um, we might also ex expect some communication disruptions. All of those different industries, the power industry, the communications industry, the, uh, the GPS industry, uh, the satellite industry, they're all paying attention and working on the back end so that, you know, 99% of the time, none of us are going to be aware of anything that's happening. The, the most common thing that people might see, the thing that's kind of most accessible to everyone in everyday life, is the fact that the auroras might happen at lower latitudes than normal. If you have a clear skies tonight and maybe the, the, the um, um, tomorrow night as well, go out there, enjoy, enjoy the spectacle, it would be amazing.